Hey there everyone, it's Connor Jacobels for Park City Television covering the red carpet of the movie The Tale. It's written and directed by Jennifer Fox and stars Laura Dern. Let's go see who we can meet up with. The film and the story I've been working on for 10 years, I wanted to tell it since it happened to me when I was 13, but it took till I was in my 40s and more mature to sort of have the perspective to be able to deal with it as I wanted. Um, it's totally accidental that we're coming out at this time of the Me Too and um, Time's Up moment. I'm grateful for that because it just means that this story, which might have been too difficult for some audience, suddenly becomes something they're hungry for and relevant. Yeah, I was close, I felt close to this project because I feel when I knew it was Jennifer's story and I read the story, read her script, I felt it was a very um, powerful and, and like a spiritual journey and, and, and the way she wrote it and I thought it was written in a beautiful way. I'm, I'm a, I love words, so she wrote it in a beautiful way and then to be able to get to work with Laura Dern was an honor for me. I'm like, that, all those things drew me to the project but then being a part of the project and seeing what Jennifer wanted to do with empowering women and, and also giving women a chance to, um, you know, to, for us to support the groups that that battle with with sexual abuse and and, and, and harassment, um, knowing that she wanted to do that, it's always incredible for me to be able to be a part of something that I think is really dope and fresh. But then it also has some social impact and. and and can be part of change in the world. So those two elements really made me just say, I got to be a part of this. I really hope that people get out of this, that you can't take advantage of other people. You can't, no matter what their age, their sex, their religion, their, their ethnicity, you can't take advantage of anybody because that's not fair and it's not right. So I really hope people get that out of it and people just learn to be better people. Denver was 13 at the time of this um, sexual abuse, which she thought of as a romance. The man involved in this in his 40s and convinced her that uh, it was a love affair. And children are so innocent sexually, you know. Um, I mean, they have feelings, but they, they don't understand them. And I think now it's important for us to educate kids sooner. I hope that they learn, first of all, that our memory and our mind is something that is healing and constructive when dealing with um, trauma. That's one. The story is about memory and the stories we tell ourselves to survive. On the other side, I'd like audience to understand that sexual abuse is not a black and white issue. It's complicated, it's confusing, and it's messy. And until we allow for these gray areas in our dialogue, we will never prevent it or help people heal. I hope, I hope that people deepen their understanding of the extremely complex web of emotions and that, that can exist in, in a situation like this. You know, every situation is different. It's not, it's, it's not trying to be a universal movie, but um, in, in its specificity, there will be things that people who have gone through similar things can recognize this or this, and I think only by, by telling this one story as truthfully and authentically as possible, I feel like it, it helps to, I mean, it certainly educated me when I read the script. I felt like I understood things that I hadn't thought about before.